is the uh, wave and solar panels. We did two different wattages, a 5 watt and a 10 watt. Now these will trickle charge the bulb battery. So when you take one onto a session, uh, you're not too sure whether you've fully charged it. If you plug this into the battery or the bulb, it should give you enough power, depending upon what the sunlight is and what wattage you've got, to, uh, to get that extra run that you may need during your session. Now you can charge the battery directly through the bulb using the power input at the back. Now I would re always recommend to use the adapter and charge it directly to the actual battery itself. The reason being is if you get a really hot day and the sun's really blasting, you don't really want to be leaving the bulb exposed to the sunlight because what will that do is will draw condensation into the bulb, make it really hot and it could da damage some internal components. So what I would do is get the sunlight in position with your solar panel, put your bait ball into the shade and then just prop, prop, your, fit, prop your solar panel up there like that and keep it out of the way and that should keep your battery topped up while you're, while you're on the bank.